one is text to image and the second one is text effects text to image i think we are quite familiar with text to effects is something that i'm really looking forward to try it out but then there are other examples that they have given you for you to get inspired so they have a full gallery where you can see what kind of prompt that has been used with this image and what is there that you can try out and copy the style whatever you want to do and when you scroll down to the bottom of the section you would also see what other things that they are planning to release like in painting personalized results text to vector extending an image which is out painting 3d image uh, text to template sketch to image text to brush so there are a lot of different things that it seems that adobe is trying to do it almost feels like adobe has tried stable diffusion Ad uh, automatic 11 11 and then try to make it a user friendly interface i would like to first try uh, text effects once you click that you would be again greeted with a small warning you can check what is in there like how do they collect the data how do they address bias certain guidelines and what you shouldn't do and once you click done you are going to be greeted with a completely new world i don't know how many of you here are old enough to remember word art when i was a kid um, whenever i used to use presentation i used to use something called word art i think it was in the microsoft ecosystem where you can generate different designs of words and now i want to try it out all i wanted to do is i want to say i want one little coder and give me in flower style like i want one little coder written in flower style and as you can see it started creating right now it almost looks like it's a little um, uh, you know text masking and then from, from there it fills in the detail but whatever the technology or however this has been done i think this is quite impressive when you see the final outcome especially like one little coder completely uh, in the flower theme and it is not just this thing like always give a feedback to the ai system it helps them to build good pro good products and it also helps the entire community so now you have certain options you can submit it to firefly gallery you can copy it to the clipboard if you can report if you want to report you can report and again you can download this when you download this there will be this this watermark that adobe has helped you create will be there and uh, when we talk about only this text effects there are a lot of different things that you can try there are different effects like the effect that i was looking for is the flower effect but then again there are a lot of sample effects that are available nature related effects material and texture related effects food and drink related like food products um, being part of the text effects so you can select that anything that you want like ice cream cookies popcorn so if i select popcorn again as you can see that text one little coder is there it's almost like masked in control net and then popcorn gets filled in with every single letter that is available it takes a bit of time uh, that's why i'm quite um, quite interested in knowing how they are doing it it almost feels like you know the letter is sent there and it is masked something using control net or something and popcorn is actually filled in there um, so that's what i am expecting but the end result is quite impressive like if you want to have one little coder which is the channel name here one little coder embedded or popcorn embedded on one little coder you can literally see what has been happening and there are a lot of other effects that are available and this is quite mind blowing you can see the gallery and see what kind of things people have been building with you can go when you hover on it you get to see the effects that people have been using and it's it's actually quite brilliant and impressive what adobe has done here with this um i i know a lot of uh, interface like for example lexica.art was doing this at the start so adobe has almost taken it almost feels to me that adobe has taken automatic 1111 and lexica.art and created an interface you can write one little code coder with wool yarn um the effect that you have typically like wool yarn uh, in the yarn uh, letters and it actually works pretty fine like you can see it it is quite slow once again it it takes a little bit of time to create these yarns here and um, you can see that it it says one little and every letter it's not even sequential so that's why i felt like it's, it's it is doing something but the end result is quite good now if you do not want background color you can remove it you want a different background color gray color blue color um purple color you can select any background color that you want sometimes it's good to have a background color sometimes you don't want a background color and it's it can be used for your twitter bio linkedin bio youtube cover a lot of places you can already see this being used where you have got text with multiple effect now if we jump into another world which we are quite familiar with this which is the text to image world you can see that they have got a bunch of examples that you can right away see uh, for example retro audio device interior decoration like some synthia theme uh, some place so you can you can pretty much see 
certain things that are available which can give you inspiration to start with and as you start hovering you can actually see the the prompt and you can select to explore it and once you reach there you can select the aspect ratio landscape portrait square wide screen and then you have got a bunch of styles that you can use and you have got you can select the content type and uh, within the like within that you can select the color and tone what kind of color and tone that you want to use anything that you select gets added as a filter here then you can select what kind of lighting you would like to select studio lighting uh, uh, dramatic lighting what whatever lighting that you would like to select and the most important thing is again composition like how do you want the final image you want a blurry background you want a close up wide angle shot depth of field macro photography um you can pretty much select anything so let's select macro photography and with the same prompt exploding photon flowers acrylic paint ma maximalism no other style just macro photography and when we give this it takes a couple of seconds but you can see you can actually see that it has tried to go to the close up of that picture and take a shot i think macro photography is better explained when you have something like this a beautiful ladybug on a leaf with a, with a dew drop i think this is like the cliched macro macro photography picture i've given this only with macro photography as composition and the output is taking time a little bit and once you see the output it is actually mind blowing it I, i'm not sure like if i can easily say that this is not a human generated image because it is so awesome and pretty good that it almost feels like it is uh, it's like uh, you know shot on a good good dslr now let's add studio lighting to it and then say a beautiful portrait of a young chinese girl i think this is a prompt that i've been testing with a lot of different systems starting from stable diffusion 1.4 write this click generate once you click generate um you you know you get to see again you can add the effects that you want but once you click generate you can see how this is creating the images i wouldn't say it is as good as what i have seen with stable diffusion 2.0 stable diffusion 1.5 analog diffusion when it comes to human portrait but again this is a very naive way of giving the prompt where i've just said beautiful young uh, chinese girl I, i want to change it to beautiful young indian girl and when you change it this is this is the kind of pictures that you get again um, i wanted to try this just to see how uh, cosmopolitan their data set is it looks pretty good like adobe has previously said that they've used only consent images with consent photographs with consent so it it almost looks like it's 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 a, it's a good mix of data set where you can select different uh, indian images now you can play with the different settings you can play with different uh, effects like for example you have got effects like palette knife layered paper neon chaotic so you can play with the different effects to see how it does but when you get into the effects you can see that it starts breaking a little bit Uh, certain things are not that good it it is good it almost looks like holy pictures it is good but it doesn't like have that perfect effect so overall i'm super impressed with what adobe is offering in terms of text to to image even the gallery is like full of inspirations i like it kind of reminds me what lexica art was doing at the start so it almost feels like i keep on repeating this almost feels like adobe has taken the op best of open source world and the best of whatever services are available on top of stable diffusion and put together a product called adobe firefly you can see amazing creations people have created like shoes and arts and uh, teddy bears and you know natural landscape i think the end result here is pretty amazing and what people have been doing with this thing i am so excited to see this um, i'm i'm like so lucky to have this access i think this uh, entirely takes this entire ai art or uh, graphic designing to a new level i think adobe is going to make this quite standard with the existing products that they have got and i cannot wait to see how exciting people are going to be when they look at adobe firefly i'm going to do a separate review of text to to images and text effects of adobe firefly if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting